Oh god, I feel a steez coming on. Oh, right when I, right when I press record. I feel a sneeze. The day's gonna come. I'm gonna look in that mirror. And there's not gonna be a single person standing behind me. <laughs> okay. Hello? Mr. Mailbox? Okay, okay, okay. Gold watch worth 500 clowns. That's gotta be good, right? Oh, well, notice. Notice. I have other things to equip. But. Only this one is available to sell. I'm gonna wait till the end of this area. And then I'm going to... Sparkle looks happy on a friend Orpo. Oh, that's cute. I feel like I have more life jams than that, but... Yeah. Obviously I don't actually, but... I just thought I did. Um... Let's buy two more s'mores. Let's buy... Wait, because I don't know, like, it seems like, <laughs> I don't know, it, it almost seems like it would be a setup. Like, oh, here's a gold watch, and look, it's the only equipable item that you can sell. Oh, gee, look, it's worth 500, you should totally sell it, and then it ends up being important, even though it says it's, like, useless in battle. But, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, this time, I'm not going to say, hey, we're gonna do the whole junkyard now, because, you know, obviously that has not gone exactly to plan the last couple times. Oh boy, hit it! Ah oh, dang, oh boy. I wonder if Kel, like, gets better things when he rifles through the trash. Nope, just a can. Heck yeah, Abby. Last bottle. Okay, computer. Another unique enemy. Kel is digging through trash. Finds a can. What is this guy? Dial up. Ah. That's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I will admit. Okay. Um... I could just go big. Just be massive right off the bat. You know, I'm just gonna start with that. You can make yourself happy. Oh, extra damage to somebody with an emotion. You see how much damage that does. Um, check the dialogue. Oh, we tried to make it happy. <laughs> Lower speed. Trip it. Oh, and you hit it, the little man on the image goes upside down. That's cute. Seven damage, please. Hero hurts himself in frustration. <laughs> oh, because the. The dial up did something and it made the hero just go slower. That's kind of funny. Okay, I have somebody else in it. Oh, you know what? You use rebound. You attack this guy. I still cannot believe. How fast they 
the dial-up has a lot of... Oh, wow. <coughs> a lot of... Uh, defense. How fast Aubrey is. Like, the fact that she moves faster than hell is kind of crazy. Chocolate. Get that. Oh, is it the puzzle? It's the flower puzzle. Nice. Okay, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, dang, I almost want to go back and... No, I can go back and do it. Conveyor bots? Which of those conveyor belts for us already? <laughs> Food potion. Can't just yell order. Yeah, seriously. Have some tact. You know this one? Tact me, boy. Oh, okay, this is teaching us. Hey, this is what Hero does. Gosh, look at those eyes. No wonder Mary's freaking in love with them. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. just have water this time. I drink all my boba. I am forever sad. Ramen. Oh! From the toilet. That's, that's great. It's awesome. I'm into it. Comet hammer, holy good. Glasses ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. <laughs> oh, I need to... I mean, it's called Common Hammer. Yeah. A hammer made from meteors. Look at that thing. Holy oh, crud. I mean, that, like, only can go to her, right? Okay, well, I'm always probably never going to have anything besides the knife. Yeah, the hero has cooking utensils. I bet next he'll get, like, a label. Oh, what a lucky find, and it increases luck. That's funny. Um, nice, okay. So Sorry, Mr. Plant Egg. Yeah, see, I couldn't sell any of the rest of this stuff. Oh, interesting. Now, yeah, now it was increase it by five. No, can't get rid of that speed. It's too good. Oh. There we go. It's a bit of a delay when you open it. Oh, nice. Oh, you don't have, like, a dialogue box here. Wait, do I have to go all the way back? Well, dang. Okay, so I need to get down there without startling. Without walking under the conveyor belt. Hmm, this is like getting here would do something. But evidently not. What we got? Oh. Oh. Is that the Kool Aid Man? Hello. 
Life Jam Guy. <laughs> hey kids, I'm the Life Jam Guy. I sell Life Jam. It really works. Would you like a free demo? Yeah? Oh. Oh. Uh. Why are you doing this, Life Jam? Wait, a free demo? Does that mean he's gonna kill me? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's music though. Oh, wait, I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna mock him. I'm gonna make him angry and lower his defense. I have an extended plan. I know, I know what to do. Um, <coughs> uh, papa. Mate. No way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, counter first, because he's going to be angry this turn, which means his attack is going to go up. To annoy Life Jam Guy. Oh, I could have. I could have Hero. I could have had Hero take the hit at the opening. Oh, I could lower the attack. Actually, that'd probably be pretty good. That's a lot of that's a lot of juice, though. Yeah, I want to say that the cook cook is too good. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go back to you. I'm gonna have you pep talk instead. Get that out of the way. You're going to annoy Life Jam guy, and then you're going to take the hit. Have mercy. Oh! A boy did not succumb. What? It really works! Oh, so this isn't like a real fight. You got life jam. You got life jam. And four life jam. Oh. Oh, I see. The idea is that I, I need to use this now on my friends. <laughs> Explains the benefits of life jam. <laughs> okay. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, I was getting all, like, ready for a real fight. Life Jam explains the benefits of Life Jam. <laughs> Enjoy your free samples. Goodbye now. Could I have, like, actually tried to attack him? Probably wouldn't have worked. How did you like my free demo? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you loved it. Oh, I see you're still hurt. No worries, I'll heal you. Thank you, Crybunny. Now, would you like to buy some? It only costs 250. I I have life jam. I think so. <laughs> That's okay. You'll need to later. Oh. Okay. You don't need to like threaten me about this. Like I'll I'll buy your life jam eventually. I'm sure. <laughs> Key. Yeah. Nice. And we're gonna... Take this all the way back. Man, I had like this whole extended plan out. I was like, okay, gonna make Kel happy so he can use freaking 
He'll get faster, so he can use hit and run. Or... Is it hit and run? I think it's hit and run. Um... <clears throat> and I'll freaking... Make... The dude angry, lower his attack. I'll have Ori freaking stab him up. I'll have Ori lower his attack. And then use the triple slash after making Amori angry. But... No plan. No plan for me. That is fine. A photo of someone familiar. Uh. You know... It did seem a little out of place. <laughs> it it did seem weird that there was just a table with candles set up and, and a f image set up next to it. Oh, life jam! Oh, I don't like that. That guy said you'll need it later. <laughs> <coughs> okay, well that was unnerving, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go, Buttercup. Band, very nice. I don't need to do anything crazy. Now what does passing it to Hero do? Oh, it's another attack. <laughs> Just too strong. Let me take a sip. What do we got? No. Play one more. I got the money. It is once again. Oh, cherry soda. That's now. That's a good find. Okay. A running gun, not not hit and run. That is a very different thing. <laughs> Gotta hit him with the with the smolder. I probably didn't need to use that on Aubrey because it's dead, isn't it? Yeah, it's dead. Dang, things still use so much juice. Gosh, Mary, you got freaking a perfectly roasted chicken. Yeah, I think I very much would like to eat some. Wait, are you crying? Why are you crying? This place is gross and stinky. My nose can't take it anymore. There is a lot of good stuff. Captain Space. I mean, Space Boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, 
too for the environment. <laughs> Even though most of those things can't really be recycled anyways. I would very much like to save. Everyone, hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I cleared out the junk here and found a perfectly good roasted chicken. <laughs> Wait, you mean this... You found the roasted chicken in all the junk. See ya, boy. Cleaning has its benefits. Yep. I need to send an example for my sometimes messy little brother. Mary. Mary, you had us eat junkyard chicken? Mary, why? Another cherry soda. Dang, Kel. Okay. No, Kel, Kel knows what's going on. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'll just freaking. Pass to a boy. Right in the heart place. Ooh, and right in the heart. And he's dead, jeez. That's the freaking combo. Oh wait, let's go. Okay, more dead batteries. Sad mixtape. Dang, imagining all the freaking uh, unique assets they had to make. Because if you look at the animation on the cassettes, there's like a, there's like at least three images that uh, that they cycle through. But the sad one, it's three new images from the half from the normal. One. And I imagine the same thing goes with it's angry or if it's if it's happy. So that's pretty. Pretty freaking good. Um, I'll make a boy angry. Have you counter Kel? Have you piss off a boy? Make that guy not sad. Oh! Crud. They gotta be almost dead. That guy's dead. That guy has to be dead. Yeah, okay. That guy might be dead too? No. Probably didn't need to massage him. He's probably almost dead. Yeah, we could all just wail on him. Casey's not dead. Okay, he's dead. Very nice. Starfruit soda? Okay, I definitely need to get more soda. I'm still <laughs> kind of empty on items that give me back juice because of that tree. Trust those gators. Got bubble wrap. Uh, guy up there. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that dark space e yet. Oh, he's going up here. Huh. Weird. Okay, let's go in here. Hey, boys. How's it going? Gator guy. Okay. What's 
it's uh it's funny guys if you talk to hero nope all right so you're just gonna be you're just gonna be like that that's fine Yeah, okay, I figured this is gonna become a thing. Oh. Ow. I'm sure that'll work. The place is so fun. Tag me, I got this. Okay, so... If it involves throwing something, then I need to get killed to a vantage point and have him... throw. Oh! Kel, you just murdered that guy! How could you do such a thing? Band is always good. Cans are always good. Poetry book. It's a poetry book. It looks sad on Fendo Show. Yeah. You know, not all poetry is sad. Just most of the good ones. <laughs> Find anything. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this stuff and have Hero used as an Aubrey. Oh, they covered... Oh, Kel's speed fell. That's no good. We get a little... Oh, 13? That's not bad. For a free heal? For a virtually free heal. That was just a good fight. Confetti. Um, I think I got a lot of toys to use now, which is good. It looks happy on all fronts. Well, that's pretty strong. Hey, look. You guys have moved a bit. Fine. If this is what you want, this is what you get. Oh, heck yeah, Aubrey. Jeez, do it again. Oh, crud. Okay, if there's a single enemy. Man, Aubrey's strong. Oh, team Spirit? And Amori learned Teen Spirit. <laughs> um, okay. Aubrey makes Aubrey and a friend happy. Oh. Interesting. 
again, I don't know, so that's two abilities in a row that make her happy specifically. But I don't see... I don't see the benefit. Maybe the idea is that, like, she would be... She'd be one of the slower characters. Unless she was happy. But she already gets, like, a truck. Without, without even landing crits. That item she gets does raise her luck. If I equipped another item with luck on her, but then her speed would go down. And then, well, I guess I could make her happy and her speed would go back up. But having her go when she does is already kind of perfect. I don't know. All foes target Obby for one turn. Counters is good to have. Makes a friend or foe happy. Deals big damage, but Obby also takes damage. Stronger when she's angry. See, I have one thing that is better when she's angry. It's Aubrey and a friend happy. Well, okay, it only costs five more and it makes another person happy. It makes her happy as well. Which, having a status effect is better than not having a status effect. Really. <coughs> See, this one is at least she. I mean, yeah, might as well. Oh no, this is, I, she can make a foe happy. This one is just she makes herself and a friend happy. Hmm. Well, nobody has anything that has a special effect if the enemy is happy, though. So. I don't know. I'm awake, I think. I'm awake. Just hang on to that. I don't see... I'm gonna see if those guys stay out of my way. I don't particularly see a point in that. Oh. Oh, because I learned this ability. They call me Scare Throw. Oh, jeez. Been talking so much. <clears throat> My throat's starting to feel it. I am stuck in the ground. Throw things at me. And hear a strange sound. Well, Kel. You're prone to violence. Go for it. Oh. oh Kel throws something different every time. Wasn't that fun? Come again another day and try again. Alright. What did we say? I, I, that, yeah, that was fun. You had a lot of interesting sounds. Is that why these guys are so into it? I don't understand you, Gator guys. But you're having a good time. I, I, I can respect that. Oh gosh, it's another shark plane. Plum juice? Oh, let's go this way. <coughs> Rubber band. My gosh, the sheer amount of stuff just sitting in the garbage. I think it would be funny if there was a chance that you get, like, poisoned or something, because all the stuff that you can consume is in the garbage. <laughs> Another life jam? See, why would I need to buy one from that guy? Other than the fact that he murdered me. Do hit me. Oh, that's for... A thing of bob, bob and a two hickey. 
Okay, yeah, I have to. The last thing must be a what a whatchamacallit. I was right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a thingamabob, a doohickey, and yeah, a whatchamacallit. <laughs> That's funny, okay. Heck yeah, boy. Oh no. Can't even dent it. Hmm. This is cheese, isn't it? Oh, you're right. It is cheese. Hear me out. Might sound crazy, but what if we eat the cheese? If we all start now, we'll probably finish it in a couple hours. Ow. Just a warning, though. Cheese kind of gets me gassy. There's no need for that. Tag me, boy. I know how to handle this. Oh, multiple things? Hungry hamster. What do you mean? What do you mean that? What, what do you mean this is happening? <laughs> I don't have to guess, Ems. Everything is your favorite. <laughs> Everyone, this is Emily the hamster, but I just call her Ems. She's a good friend of mine. You know what to do, Ems. That can't be good, though. Oh. My gosh. Oh. How does all that even fit in a body? Beats me. I try not to think about it. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> but what do you mean, though? <laughs> okay. That was weird. Was weird. I don't understand. <laughs> it's it's nice that um everybody like has an overworld thing they can do. Oh whoops. Um oh wait a minute. The spider is in the moon in this image, too. Interesting. No, but, like, yeah, it's nice that everybody has a thing they can do in the overworld. It's very... It's very classic RPG to do that. Like, Wild Arms, everybody had things like... Somebody could scan, somebody had, like, grapple hook, things like that. Um, Tales of Symphonia was, like, really interesting things, like... If you switch to one of the char characters in Tales of Symphonia, then you, uh... Oh. Oh! If you're anybody but a Mori, you don't see... You don't see the keys. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. These are right. But this was the first one that was wrong. Um, is it bad if I... Am I trying to... Get all the right ones and not the wrong ones? 
Oh, should I just get them all? I feel like the idea is just that I get them all, right? Jeez, that was kind of spooky. Oh, Meteor Ball! <coughs> what are the chances? It's literally just a meteorite, jeez. Oh, play card tested, child approved. That's nice. I like, I like the flavor text. It adds a lot of personality. Um. Yeah, uh. Yeah, no, in, in Tales of Symphonia, there was a lot of very weird character specific things that they could do if you switched to them. Like, if you switched to one of the characters, Colette, she just. and you talk to a dog, she names it. So you could just go around and you could name every single dog in the game. If you talk to uh, the redhead, I mean, if you if you talk to females, like female NPCs, as the redhead character, can't remember the name to save my life. You could, um, they would all give you something. Like you, he would just flirt with them. And they would all give you something. Except I think there were a couple of key NPCs who wouldn't, though. And that was always funny. You get a lot of money doing that, though. Binoculars? Two noculars. Noculars times two. <laughs> okay. Uh, two defense. And increased hit rate. Sacrifice a little bit of speed. But the rest of that's pretty good. What do you have equipped? You have the bunny ears? Bunny ears. And you have flashlight, which is 40. And you have the seer goggles, which are just better in every conceivable way. Uh, no, actually, that's not true. would give you one more defense. It would lower your luck. <coughs> kind of thinking about giving those to a boy. Raising a boy's luck would be pretty darn cool. Maybe I will do that. I'm gonna be making Kel happy all the time anyways. So raising his crit chance. Oh, not like that. Getting a little more defense. Be pretty good. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice I had bubble wrap. Plus three defense. Huh. Here we go. A little bit less speed. This is three speed. Yeah, I think that's good. I just equip nothing, which is interesting. Nice, I dig it. I guess the idea of Amoy not needing luck is that I can get a guaranteed crit with one of his moves, but it would be cool if he just crit more often. Okay, I think that's good. <coughs> oh. Did that even have a sparkle on it? And it gave me a... Thing? Should I have been checking more just random stuff? Huh. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? There's great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> so let's get down some jokes on here. Only had a joke book. Yeah, really. Yeah.
Is that the moon or the sun? Oh, no, that's the moon. Okay. <laughs> I was like, you guys shouldn't stare at that. The moon looks gigantic from here. Most beautiful place I've ever seen. So much litter around. Can you say it's beautiful? Aubrey, Aubrey, don't be such a wet blanket. Look at things on the bright side. You know what I always say? You just gotta wake up and smell the roses. You don't always say that. <laughs> this is nice though. Yeah, Aubrey is having a very bad time in this place. I just want to play video games. <laughs> Legitimately, as I'm extremely happy that I have a job, especially in the current conditions. But all that aside, if given the possible, if given the opportunity, I would stop working. I mean, who who wouldn't? Uh, that's not true. Like my friend Michael says that. Uh, I mean, most one of the big main reasons why he'd probably always have a job of some sort or get a job of some sort is because he'd get, he'd get bored. Which, like, that totally makes sense. I think it's completely understandable. Um, I personally um, Her attack twice. Maybe we'd be fine. Yeah, you look at him, boy. Hit that guy again. Um, but me, personally, I would definitely not get bored if I didn't have a job. I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I can't say for sure that I'd be more motivated to work on, like, hobby, like, hobby-related stuff, but I would definitely have more time to do so. More time to improve on my craft, if you will. <laughs> More importantly, just more time to do the things you enjoy doing. I feel like I'm constantly trying to keep up in like on like my collections of things, whether it's music or games or um, uh, graphic novels, shows. I'm constantly writing things down to remember to to look at a bunch of stuff. Why am I picking things out of toilets? Why am I doing this? <laughs> but, uh... No, I mean, it... It would just be nice... To start... Being able to keep up with the sheer amount of things there are that I want to... Do, whether it's games to play, or movies to see, or shows to watch... Books to read, graphic novels to read... It'd just be nice to have the time to do all that. Not have to worry about it. Finally found it. Digging and digging. One of a kind ultra exclusive mixtape. The number one sweetheart fan in the world. 
With this one-of-a-kind addition to my collection, I will finally surpass those lame poses out there. Me. Me buying physical media. <laughs> Smells like doo-doo. I mean, you did pull out of a junkyard. She certainly did. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Yeah, guys, we probably shouldn't talk about taking something she's clearly very happy about finding. <coughs> getting me into trouble. Just as I suspected, owning something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. What's the matter? Are you jealous? Special mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you. Not now, not ever. Hey, we didn't come all the way out here for nothing. If you won't give us a special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force. Whoa, Kel. Hold on, bud. She found it first. What? Well, you can't go around threatening to kill people. Such savage behavior. Violence never solved anything, you know. <laughs> I'm much too refined for this nonsense. Farewell, peons. And see you never. The lady, come back! <laughs> Wait, we're after her. We can't let her get away. Kel, but what are we gonna do when we find her? You don't, like, want me to actually just kill that woman, do you? I do not have stick legs. Aw, oh, come on, man. Let me go down. There's items over here. Fine. Got a can. I need more cans, Kel. Don't you understand? <coughs> a rain cloud. Probably makes everybody sad. That's what I'm assuming. On all fronts, yeah. I could do that if somebody's hitting really hard, and I just need to have a boy stab them a bunch. I could, I could cast that on everybody, and then let a boy just freaking have his way with them. Here alone, snack time. Oh. From getting the baking pan? That's sick. Heals all friends for 40% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. Hot day. <clears throat> Dang, it's a lot of. Oh man, that's really good though. I'm almost wondering, like, remove this and just get good at tanking hits. Yeah, because having a massive single target and then, like, a really good multi target heal is pretty good. I can, I can lower the foe's attack otherwise. Or, I just have... Since Aubrey's fast enough to do it, just have her do the counter. Aggro. And then, because this is a single target. You know what? I think I will do that. I think that's good. Oh wait. Heck yeah. Oh. I don't know why I was thinking... I 
thought I thought I, I mistook it for frying pan. No, this is a baking pan. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Oh wow, it raises his attack a little bit, but then it also raises his max HP. That's really good. Dang, maybe I should. It's nice to be able to trade off aggro. That costs a lot more too. No, you know what? Yeah. I would rather tank a full hit. I would rather be able to choose who tanks a full hit rather than just being able to lower people's attack. TV remote. Uh, two defense and five power. Well, hey. They have so many things I can equip now. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang, lose two defense, but have even more heart. Change his channel from the TV. Oh, is this something I can use at TV Ghost Place? Oh my gosh, wait, this is the third episode in a row where I've mentioned TV Go the Band. But then I haven't been able to... <laughs> I haven't been able to remember... What the other song was. That's it. I'm gonna figure this out. Pause. I need to figure this out. It's birds don't sing. Gosh dang it. <coughs> Gosh dang it, it shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> it's five extra HP. Good to lose two defense. I don't think so. Pete's sake. Okay, it's me. Oh, Mary got scared. <laughs> oh, they actually... That's a nice detail. That This game has a lot of really nice... Um, sort of bump in the lamp moments. Like a sort of sort of animation thing they coined. Oh, I got the whatchamacallit. There you go. That they coined when uh, doing Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But, you know, just like the little... I guess for games, uh, my friend mentioned that it's, it's called uh, adding juice to your game. You know, like I'm having some extra juice. Oh, hold on, so I can talk to Mary, but I can't hang out with my friends here? But I can't eat a perfectly roasted chicken, so that's fine. <coughs> but you know, just adding like little extra details to something you're making that just, that just sort of push it a little, a little far. You know, just a little extra. Things that maybe... That maybe aren't even inherently... Like, not, people aren't going to be talking about it, maybe? But it just... But it, like, quietly makes everything more cohesive. Makes everything feel nice. You know, so that thing falls down. So we see... We walk into frame. We see Mary up there. That block falls. And... You know, you, you expect... Oh, our characters are going to have a reaction. But no, she has a reaction, too. And she's looking around, and she has no idea what just happened. But that's just a really nice touch. Having a fun adventure. If you're ever feeling weary, don't forget you can always rest up in my picnics. Big Sister is always prepared. Um, oh, I did get this list down a little bit. It's not multi-page now. Uh, this is probably gonna last forever. 
Hey, you got a file puzzle. Wasn't Daisy looking for one to give to a crush? It's pretty obvious who it is. <laughs> Step. <laughs> Don't look so upset with me. Please. Everything for TV. I like how there's multi-face. Oh my gosh, that listening to so much writing. If she says something new every every step of the quest, that's kind of crazy. <coughs> I'm sure she'll make something amazing and strange. Oh, she even has a- oh, that's what it completes for! She even has something to say when you complete it. Crud. <clears throat> wow, Burley gave you a butt certificate? I bet she was up all night thinking about that one. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Scarecrow. Happy adventures. Oh my gosh, it's wholesome. Uh, you know, in a lot of RPGs, reading all the extra, like, journal entries and stuff, don't really feel like get too much, but in this game, it's like short and sweet, and it, and it feels good. I don't know, it just feels good to do it. here if you need me. Okay, sis. Oh boy. Do not cross. Give us back. Guys, she did find it first. <laughs> What's with her? Is she... Is she good? Is she fine? Take a closer look. Guys. What do you mean take a closer look, guys? Look. It says do not cross. Is it a, Is it a... Is that not actually her? Is she tricking us? There's no music. Attack Omo complete? What? 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 99%? Is that a Windows background? What is this music? Downloading attack. Estimated time 0 seconds. Oh, I bet I actually have to pay attention to that. Okay. What am I... <coughs> am I being doxxed right now? I don't understand. Okay, um... Yes, I have a Okay, so first we're going to the mall. Yo, the song is sick. Download it, though. Why is this song so sick? We're going to... That. Oh, I can finally do the thing. Okay, what's everything I need to do? I need to annoy the download window. And I need to charm the window, as you. Make them angry. Make them tell them happy. Locking the window. Oh, took 60 damage. Jeez. And it's tactile. Very nice. It's now at 99%. It was at 99% before. But now it's just pissed off. <coughs> okay, boy, freaking hack away at this thing. No, wait. No, I want to wait till Moy is pissed. 
Oh, I'm lucky I had enough. Yeah, I'm gonna have exactly enough to do this. Oh boy, you just attack. Aubrey, you... memory. I struggle with RPGs. Which is funny because I've committed myself to playing a bunch of RPGs. Both obscure and well-known. And recording them. So other people can watch it. Uh, I picked anything. But nope, there I am. Um, what do I actually want Aubrey to do? I want Aubrey to... Attack this thing twice. Wow. Yeah, I want Albie to attack twice. I'm gonna have her use the follow up attack. Cal, annoy, boy. Hero. Uh. You know, buddy, just just take that hit again. Boy, attack it again. 50 damage. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Albie. Do it again. <clears throat> Try Winnie. Do it even more. It's still at 99%. Okay. If it gets to 100%, what happens? <laughs> yeah, boy is angry. Hope that hits. Um, yeah, use headbutt because I'm gonna have hell piss you off now. Everybody's gonna be mad this fight. <laughs> uh, hero. You can. I mean, this again because I'm waiting for this thing to attack. I'm afraid. Oh, 97, holy crap. Nice. 
climb any. Bashes and bounds. Oh. Oh. Oh, Obby's dead. Okay. Oh, the screen's fuzzy. How much did? Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, we can literally dump this down. Um. <laughs> oh, God. That was good. That was a good, massive combination of things. Um. Kel's gonna go first. I want him to go first. Yeah. Okay. Boy, you attack. Uh, Kel, I want you to use a life jam on Aubrey. Aubrey died in one hit. Was she already? She no. We everybody was at full, full everything. And then, oh my gosh, yes, you snack time. I knew I was, I was saving you for something. Saving that. Oh, I could have had a boy attack again. Probably would have killed him. Oh. Oh, woof. Four, four, four <laughs> experience. Like a four, four arrow. That's nice. That's. Jeez. I got the achievement Alt F4. Very cool. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> okay, so we gotta get back this mixtape. Took the special mixtape from Rosa? Oh. Okay, she is alive. Hello, world. Hey, that's my give back. No way, find, find us keepers. Putting this back in the space boyfriend's boombox where it belongs. Boyfriend? You say? Oh, you ignorant child. Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a very reputable source that tells me the space boyfriend and sweetheart have long since parted ways. Why do you think it's a special mixtape as in the junkyard in the first place? Because space boyfriend threw it away himself. That, yeah, I... I feel like that was safe to assume. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. But if Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart aren't together anymore, how will we ever wake Space Boyfriend up now? The future of the once great coalition of space pilots is depending on us. Hmm. Sounds like your problem, not mine. How do we know you're not lying about all this? You need to be lying to get this special mixtape back. Well, I never. I may be rude and pretentious, but I'm not a liar. Crud, man, that... A little messed up, Kel. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the freaking glowing boxes over here of Spell Out 404. <laughs> Pay for the stupid boy, mark my words. And we just made a mortal enemy. But why did this all happen though? <laughs> Sometimes you just need to look at things from a different perspective, and, and things become just easier. What freaking something like that? <laughs> Hold on. What was uh? What was this way? Do we ever go this way? Oh, this is this is like the level. Yeah. Oh, because up was just uh just one watermelon, two watermelons. There we go. Oh jeez, that fight got a little dicey at the end there, I'm not gonna lie.
but like we did it. Oh, space pirate dude. We finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. No, please. I already fought Pluto. Don't make me fight Pluto again, please. Oh no. My gigantic will to find home and legs are giving out. I can't let it end like this. I need to find a hiding place. He's gonna hide. Are you there, please? Lend me your assistance. Huh? Oh, uh, well, uh. Oh, yeah, I don't have much time. Good place to hide, huh? I got it. Okay, that's easy. Now I got this all under control. <laughs> but his legs. Okay, that should do it. Shoot the comet. Cook if it would act natural. Dang it, we lost him. Are you kids, look for a high profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's a big, silky little grayish guy with huge, bulging muscles. It's kind of out of this. You see him? Uh, um, no? Can I say we have? Really? Well, that's life. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's keep soldier. We'll find him eventually. <laughs> what? Are we like friends with Pluto now? Okay, so the coast is clear. I thought he was gonna be put in the hole. Where did he? Oh. Oh, that animation. That laughter, it's scary. Quick thinking, I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names, if I may ask? I'm Hero, these are my friends Aubrey, Kel, and Amor. I see, fine names for you fine young people. My name is Pluto, I'm a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. I do apologize for causing everybody so much trouble, but I feel that it is not my purpose to act as a mere yo decoration. Oh. I want the freedom to roam the sky as I please. Like the birds and stars. That makes me a rogue planet. So be it. They can call me what they please. So long as I am free to do as I please. My soul yearns for freedom. You understand, don't you, children? Whoa, whoa Kel, you cry? <laughs> Such raw emotion. I'm touched. That was beautiful, Pluto. Oh gosh. You said it, Kel? Now, at long last, I'm finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. I'm going to call it Pluto Spaceline. Oh gosh. This realization has reinvigorated me. And since you have helped me in such a selfless way, I must return the favor. <clears throat> I am Pluto, of Pluto Spaceline now. Please pretend you have just arrived at a transportation station. Oh, okay. Uh. Hello? Pluto? Oh gosh. I, I don't know. I don't know. I wanna, I wanna leave. <laughs> oh, was that too much? Hmm. Should I try to turn it down? Let's try this again. No, it's okay. We'd like to just go back to the campsite, please. So you want to go to the Otherworld campsite? Ah, my first request. How exciting. Oh no, here it comes. The music. I think this was the music that played when we fought him. But now I'm wondering why we fought him. One ride to the Otherworld campsite coming right up. I won't let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. 
Is everyone strapped in? Wait, no, what about Kill? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Wait, hold on, am I ready yet? <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Pluto Space Line. Where will your journey take you today? Otherworld? So you want to go to Otherworld? Yeah, you got it. Now just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Amazing. The game's too good. Oh gosh. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to- Oh yeah, look, at the, the freaking bus stop has a Pluto Space Line thing on it now. How was that for a smooth ride? Comfortable environment and relaxing music? I'd give it 5 out of 5. <laughs> Says you. I can't even feel my arms anymore. Kel, I have to say, you did a great job holding on for dear life back there. <laughs> you have the potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might be useful in the future. Oh crud. <laughs> Repeat after me. Oh. When I flex, I feel my best. Now you try. <laughs> best? Oh, the music. <laughs> well, I felt amazing. Pumped. Hmm. A little work. But nevertheless. Definitely got the power within you. Take this lesson and use it well. Farewell, children. Until the next time. I, uh, oh my gosh, the game. Just what I think. It's peaked. It just keeps providing. <laughs> uh, what does Flex do? Okay, Kel deals more damage next turn and increases the hit rate for his next attack. Interesting. Pretty good. Um, health speed is twenty eight, which is kind of amazing still. Um, so this is like basically. This ability is basically... Charge from Persona. You can like, you spend a turn charging and then your next attack does like, way more damage. More damage next turn increases his hit rate. Yeah, I feel like Kel does an attack based on his attack speed. Instead of his attack stat. Yeah, I'm thinking... Give it a curveball. Haven't really been using it. Kind of don't like for the most part. I own. I either I leave enemies intentionally with an emotion, or I don't have them have emotions. Really. Having and yeah, and, and, and having people like I'm not going to use this on a normal enemy. This is pretty situational. Um. It's a good, oh man, it's a good option though, if I, if I need an enemy to have like a certain stat, I can just keep having Kel use that. Kel's the only one that makes people angry right now, and I need that to do a lot of things. Making people angry sets up a lot of stuff. Um, this 
damage to all foes. Uh, he's the only one who gets to do this, and that could be really good. Man, okay, now, now this is where it gets hard. I, like, can we have, can I have access to more skills, please? Why do I only get to use four skills at a time? Cost 15. I want to use flex. And then... And then use... I want to make Kel happy. Because here's a combo. You make Kel happy. Use flex. Do that on one turn. Next turn, run and gun. And his speed stats through the roof. And you won't risk missing because his hit rate's gonna go up. You know what, I'll get rid of rebound for now. We'll make, we'll make Kel extremely single target focused. We already have really two sing, like, single target heavy people with a boy and Aubrey. So we'll see. I'll probably get rid of Curveball. Ultimately. You know what? I feel like I'm just gonna get rid of Curveball right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I like Rebound too much. in a bunch of trash now. This episode's going a little long, but I really want to... Dang, it's 12.54. Crud. I really want to... finish this section off. Although, after this section, there's probably going to be another real-life section. And I can't just not do that, at least. I think we're just going long now. I think that's just what we're doing. We got so much stuff. I really do wish you could just get all this stuff turned in at the same time. Oh, A cell phone, interesting. Defense. Okay. Crud. That makes a bunch of items immediately obsolete. Yeah, why are you wear why wear <laughs> why wear something that gives you four defense when you can have something that gives you ten? Absolutely indestructible. Holy crud. Okay, well freaking heroes just tanking stuff now. Heck. Compared to the rest of us, he almost has, he almost has 30 defense. What the heck? Okay. You know, let's 
save that really quick. That was a big find, and I don't want to have to try and uh, turn all that stuff in again. My space boyfriend. We got your stuff, dude. <clears throat> you must live. You must move on with your life. Real this time? Oh no, but that would mean there's no point in playing the special mixtape anymore. All hope is lost. Ah. Oh. Kel's just gonna go for it anyways. Hm. At least thank us. <laughs> People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. You just need some time to readjust. Well, I know, I'll blast his special mixtape on his boombox. He's gotta wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape after all. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it to him, Moy, I'll keep it safe. <laughs> I don't. Hey, cause you guys, you know, I'm a person. I can I can reach into my own pockets and get stuff. <laughs> Kill, what are you doing? <clears throat> uh oh. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh no, he's hot. Down to kill, look what you did. Fear me, for I have awakened. Hmm. One second. Oh. Ah, oh, I gotta get the backtrack, yeah. Much better. Now where was I? Ah yes. Foolish children. Oh is- uh, am I gonna fight him? I must thank you for bringing me that- out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed pretending to be sick. Like I always say, feelings are for losers. That wench sweetheart. She's going to pay for leaving me. I did everything. I gave everything to her. Oh no. Oh no, don't be a nice guy, space boyfriend, please. Whoa. We're fine, sweetheart. I'm gonna make her pay. Oh, no, no, that's not healthy. Sorry, but we can't let you do that, space boyfriend. What should I say? Space ex boyfriend. <laughs> Jeez, up. No, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? I'm the captain of the space pirates. I control all the planets in the solar system. I have the ability to fly through space at will. The power of the entire universe is at my command. Talk all you not <laughs> talk all you want. We're not scared of you. You play on I've been trained by Pluto. You are nothing to me. 
kind of going around causing trouble. You're gonna have to get through us first. Hey, Moe, you're gonna. Hey, Moe, this is the part where you like walk up and you say something cool. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be. You still insist on stopping me. I'm afraid we'll just have to settle just the hard way. I'll take all of you on. Bite me, earthly scum! <laughs> <laughs>